guys, welcome to my channel. Happy Thursday. This is kind of an impromptu video today. Um, I'm very dirty. I just got done. Thursdays are my day to clean rabbit cages. And when I say that, I mean the drop pans in all of my cages. Um, I have another video which you can see. I'll try to tag it here or put it down below um, with all the tools that I use on Thursday to clean the rabbit cages or the rabbit um, pay, um, trays. But today is the beginning of my spring cleaning, which means um, I needed to get the barn floor and everything cleaned out and kind of rearrange. Um, so this is a two-part video, not two-part. It's going to talk about two different things today. Um, first, I um, did pull everything out this morning. I'm going to do the spring cleaning in two different um parts this year. Usually I spend like an entire eight hour day spraying down cages and hosing out things and getting everything cleaned up for spring. I typically do that twice a year. Um, I only did it once last year just because of our move, um, but this year will probably be twice. Um, and so I broke it up into two. This is actually the first time ever that I've had my own space for my rabbits. I've either had um, a small shed or um, part of a garage. And so this is my barn. This is all mine. It does have a cement floor. And so I was able this morning to pull out all the cages and bring the hose out here and hose it down. Um, I did use this enzyme cleaner that I got from Amazon for um, barn stall and trailer deodorizer. I will link this below. I um, just off Amazon. So um, I'll do that. And then next week I will start bringing out all cages and you can tell we're heading towards the weekend. The uh, motorcycle gangs are heading up north um, and they go right past our house. So they've been doing that all day today. Um, and so next week I will, the bark floor is all clean. I have a fan on it right now. I just hosed it out, put some of the enzyme cleaner down and um, mopped it, or not mopped it, but used a big um, wide broom and just brushed it all out. And so it's drying up pretty quickly and it smells wonderful in here again. And then next week I'll start pulling out all the cages and bunnies will go out into a different cage or outdoors for the day while I do that and I will hose and scrub all cages, all bottoms. Um, when I say bottoms, I mean these trays, the uh, cage bottoms. And then that will be all done for the season. So this was a big job because I pulled everything out. Um, I also wanted to show you, I rearranged the space and I put all the cages in the back because I'm going to put my rabbit fencing cages up front here and I'll show you why in a second here. I'm gonna kind of, um, I'm gonna take you around outside because they are actually outside right now. And I'm gonna do a little quick review on those and let you know what I think of them. Um, but yeah, so the barn is clean today. So let me pause this and we'll move you around and I will show you my um, fencing cages. Okay, we are back. I am outdoors obviously with, um, I have two, I actually have three of these different kinds. I'll show you the third one here in a second, but I have three of these that I can use. Um, I only have two with bunnies in them right now because of the outdoor colony, which that video should be up um, by the time I put this one up. So you could check that out also. But I have been using these cages. Um, Nutmeg here has been in since January, I think. I'll have to look back. I'll try to link that video too because I did do a video on that. Um, but she and her two sisters were living in this one until the two sisters decided that they could jump uh, right over top of it. So they had to go and they are now outside in the colony. But she does well in here. I could put another rabbit in with her. I just haven't because I have extra space right now um, because of the outdoor colony. So I do like this fencing. I think this is one we got years ago when we got our last puppy um, and had it. And so I started using it for the rabbits outside. And it may be that I did buy it about the same time 
and used it for rabbits and the dog. I can't remember. So these are all from Amazon. Um, just, I think they're called indoor um, pet um, playpen, maybe. Um, I'll try to link one of them down below if I think of it. But so she is doing well in there. And then here is, I don't think you can see her right now. Flopsy is in here and this is the covered one that I got um, more recently to try with the two jumpers but the jumpers still pushed their way out through I don't know how because this is pretty tight but they did push their way out through so um, Flopsy is my nine-year-old English Angora she is my oldest rabbit and her and her son Loki are my last two rabbits from my original um, not my original rabbits, but they've been with me the longest. So she lives in this one and she does quite well in it too. Um, I haven't had any issues with her getting out at all. Obviously she's older. Um, but I realized this morning as I was cleaning out everything out of the barn that um, if I put these, these were more in the back of the barn with the cages up front. And if I put these towards the front, then you can see here, we, this is this is my husband's workshop, but right here is my barn and in between here we have these big huge pine trees and grass and so I could actually on days that I'm going to be here and it's a nice day I can actually pull them straight out of the barn and into the grass over here every day so I'm gonna start doing that um, that will give them a little bit more grass time and um, yeah, and the nice thing about this one is is that you don't need to put it in the shade necessarily because it does have this cover and part of it is a net cover and the other half is the cloth cover. So there's shade in there already, no matter where you put it. Um, so I will try to remember to link these ones. I have a third one, which I thought would work and it, it does for, you can see that one right there. Um, it does work. It's a little bit shorter though, so I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe for younger rabbits, um, although I did have the babies out there this morning and all of a sudden I looked down and one of them was next to me. So he squeezed his little fat butt through the, through the uh, fencing. But that one is nice because the posts on the end, you can see the right here that are sticking up, those can actually be dug into the ground. You just push them down and it kind of... Um, steadies it to the ground so that one is nice for that um, yeah so I think that's all I wanted to talk to you about this morning um, if you have any questions about any of these or how I am doing my cages indoors you can um, put comments down below um, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and like this video and um, ask questions that's why I'm here um, that's why I do these videos so that I can help you and hopefully this gives you some ideas of things you can do within your own rabbitry. And I hope you guys are having a great day and creating something. Bye.